Safety. Safety begins with product knowledge, which is your thorough understanding of what you are selling and how it is used. Above all else, remember safety first. Familiarizing yourself with welding and cutting gases will help you in identifying your customer's needs and in the safe handling of these products. Acetylene. Acetylene is used primarily as a fuel gas for welding and cutting applications. Acetylene is a flammable and explosive gas and is considered dangerous. For this reason, smoking and open flames within a 25-foot area is strictly prohibited. Oxygen is an oxidizer which accelerates combustion. Oxygen is used along with acetylene to increase the flame temperature. Because of its combustion properties, do not let oil, grease, or oil-based lubricants of any kind come in contact with any part of the oxygen cylinder, regulator, or fitting. Doing so is considered dangerous. Clothes or other materials saturated with oxygen may easily ignite. As a special note, all thoroughbred industrial cylinder exchange oxygen cylinders are for industrial use only. Argon CO2, that's argon and carbon dioxide, sometimes called mix or shielding gas, is another non-flammable gas that is actually a mixture of two gases, consisting of 75% argon and 25% carbon dioxide. Argon CO2 is an inert asphyxiate gas that may cause suffocation by displacing the oxygen in the air necessary to sustain life. Its purpose is to blow away particles or shield the immediate work area from contamination in a steel MIG welding application. Straight argon is 100% argon and is also an inert asphyxiate gas, and the same cautions should be used. Its purpose is the same as the argon CO2, however, straight argon is used in an aluminum MIG welding application. All of these gases are safe, useful, and necessary in many applications when handled properly. Misuse or negligence can be very dangerous. If you would like more information, visit our website at gaspony.com and download a material safety data sheet. Another step you can take in practicing safety is to memorize and apply the following 10 basic cylinder handling guidelines. One, use extreme caution when handling and transporting cylinders. Two, identify cylinder contents by the Department of Transportation's shoulder label only. The DOT shoulder label provides the gas type and the UN number. Never sell or exchange a cylinder without this label. Please note, there is one exception to this rule. A new cylinder that is sold from your store that has never been filled will not have a DOT label and may be exchanged at the time of purchase. This is the only exception. Three, when handling, always treat a cylinder as if it is full. Four, except for Lindy style acetylene cylinders, all incoming and outgoing cylinder sizes three and larger, flammable and non-flammable, must have a screw-on metal cylinder cap to protect the valve. Always tighten the cap on the cylinder before moving. Never move a cylinder without the cap being secured. Refer to your training manual for more details about the Lindy style cylinders. Five, always take care to separate flammable and non-flammable cylinders and keep them secure in the correct and separate side of the cylinder cage. Six, always keep cylinders upright. Never roll a cylinder on its sidewall and never drop cylinders, especially those containing acetylene. Seven, use the thoroughbred cylinder cart and secure with a cylinder cart chain to move cylinders. Eight, Smoking in open flames within a 25-foot area is strictly prohibited. 9. Never load a cylinder into enclosed vehicles, such as cars, vans, trucks, trailers, or campers due to high risk of explosion or fire. 10. The 1,000-pound rule. Never load or allow a customer to load over a 1,000 pounds total cylinder weight into a vehicle unless it has the required DOT placards and the driver has a commercial driver's license with a hazardous materials endorsement. Please refer to your training manual for cylinder weights and measures. Your training manual also contains the 10 basic cylinder handling guidelines. In each section of the video, you will notice a strong emphasis on safety as safety is always first, always. Now that you're familiar with the gases and their applications, let's move ahead to the transaction section 
and learn more about the cylinders and how to sell them. 